Experiment 1 is the Earth's magnetic field. Its purpose is to enable students to calculate the Earth's horizontal magnetic field. This section explains the theory involved and experimental details, including the experimental equipment. The Earth's magnetic field is very useful and can help protect against charged particles from outside the Earth. Intensity of horizontal magnetic field can be determined by means of the magnetic field produced by the current flowing in the coil using Biot-Savart law. Which theoretically we can find the direction of the magnetic field using the right hand rule. The four fingers represent the direction of the current in the counterclockwise direction. The thumb direction is the direction of the magnetic field directed outwards. As shown in the figure, the magnetic field D B arises from the part of the wire D S with the current flowing. A magnetic field is formed and can be separated as a vector component of the field, which can write the relationship as in the picture, resulting in the value of the magnetic field generated by the coil as B C, as in the equation this equation. Mu zero is the magnetic permeability of free space. N is the number of turns of the coil, I is the current flowing in the coil, and R is the radius of the coil. If we design an experiment using a compass to show the direction of the Earth's magnetic field perpendicular to the magnetic field produced by a coil, we can draw both field vectors as shown in the figure. Let BR as a vector of the net magnetic field and it angles with B equal to theta. Where BR equals BC plus B and BC equals B tan theta. As an equation, substituting BC from the first equation gives the equation to use. From the equation of current, we comparison with the linear equation Y equals MX plus C. When plot the graph between I and tan theta, we can find the slope k, or the k value is the galvanometer coefficient. We adjust the current to different values, we will get different tan theta values. Finally, we use the k value to calculate the Earth's magnetic field. When you get the slope of the graph, you can find the Earth's magnetic fields. Here is the example of the graph, the y-axis is current and the x-axis is tan theta. The slope of graph is k. Finally the Earth's magnetic field can be calculated from k, the graph slope, times mu0, n, and divide by 2 and r. Experimental Procedure in the experiment, it was divided into two parts. Initially, a coil of 50 turns of a tangent galvanometer was connected to the DC power supply and connected to an amateur and a rheostat. Install the compass, place it in the center of the tangent galvanometer. Adjust the line of the wire to be parallel to the direction of the Earth's magnetic field observed by the compass. After that, rotate the compass until the pointer points at an angle of zero degrees. At this time, we do not apply any source to the tangent galvanometer. This is how to set the magnetic field from the coil and the earth to be perpendicular to each other. Then we will connect the circuit. The positive red wire from the power supply will connect to red terminal of galvanometer. That firstly 50 turns terminal. 
the black terminal will connect to the red terminal of digital multimeter for milliampere measurement. Select the multimeter function to be milliampere. Next the common terminal will connect to the rheostat at this contact. The output terminal will back connect to the negative terminal of power supply. Turn on the DC power supply at 10 volts. The experiment consists of two parts. First we use 50 turns coil at the applied voltage of 10 volts. Second part, we use 500 turns coil at the lower applied voltage of 2 volts. After we turn the power supply on and there are current in the circuit. The tangent galvanometer will produce the magnetic field. So there are both the magnetic field from the coil and the earth. The needle will point to the resultant magnetic field. After adjust the resistance of rheostat to be lower value. Then the current will be higher. Then there are higher magnetic field from the coil. As we can see from the pointer, the needle will be bent from the previous position. And, until the pointer points at an angle of 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 degrees, and record the current values, respectively. Adjust the current in reverse direction from the beginning. Repeat the experiment to determine the current again. Then calculate the mean current of each degree. In the part 2, Change the coil from 50 to 500 turns and using DC power supply of 2 volt and try it as well as in part 1. The results of this experiment show the current data as the experiment table. Students use this information to calculate the mean of current and tan theta. Take the calculated data to plot a linear graph of the two parts. To calculate the Earth's magnetic field from the slope of the graph obtained.